Yeah, hey, Noah. Um, just how, how do you feel like you guys have progressed now through, through a couple of games since Arkansas State on the line? Um, I think we're, we're moving in the right direction. Um, Saturday was probably our best game so far, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. Um, as individually and as a whole group, um, we got to keep being physical and keep sustaining blocks and keep communicating at a high level and uh, keep protecting for the most part, um, especially the last two weeks. We've done a, done a good job in protection. Um, we got a big challenge this week. TCU is a good team. They got a good defensive front, a good front seven. So we got to have a good week in practice. Um, but as long as we keep, uh, keep playing physical and keep competing, I think we're going to be all right. As an offensive lineman, how, how tough is it to see what happened to Skyler when he gets knocked out of the game in that situation? Uh, that's tough. Uh, one as an offensive lineman, and two is just uh, just a friend. You know, Skyler is one of my one of my best friends. So, so that sucks. But at the same time, um, you gotta you gotta push on with the guy who's in there. You know, next man up. And and Skyler would have that mentality if any of us went down. Uh, it sucks to see your teammate, and your brother, um, get a little banged up. But um, you got to focus on on the now and on on the next guy who's in there and rallying around um, around Will and and play our game and and control the line of scrimmage and give him time to make plays and and that's what we did. It seemed like that was a pretty physical game on Saturday. How, how physical was it to you? Um, it was it was it was pretty physical. I uh, I definitely my body feels a lot better after. After this game, then it again, then it did against Oklahoma. Um, I think I'm getting a little bit more used to playing in full games again. But um, we definitely did a better job of of coming off the ball in the run game and and getting displacement from the line of scrimmage and giving our backs uh, bigger lanes to run. And um, that's what it's going to take for us to win. That's what it's going to take, um, both offensively and defensively, is controlling line of scrimmage. So if we can keep doing that, we'll be in a good spot. Appreciate it, Noah. Thank you. Derek. Hey, Noah, late in the game, you know, it's kind of winning time. You guys have a true freshman running back, a true freshman left tackle, and true freshman quarterback in the game. Um, what does that say about you guys still being able to do what you did with, you know, that kind of inexperience? And how much, like, leadership and responsibility did you shoulder in those moments? Um, I can't say enough good things about, about – uh, Carver Willis and how how he played and I can't say enough good things about Deuce and about uh about Will um I don't even look at at Deuce as a true freshman that guy might be more mature than I am um and I'm 22 so and and Will man that guy was was poised he was confident he didn't he did not seem phased by the moment at all he was completely ready for it um Coach Colin Klein did a great job of of talking to him, and and Skyler did a great job of talking to him and keeping him, keeping him, keeping him chill. And and uh, I think the coolest thing about Will is that he was smiling and and joking around a little bit in the huddle and uh, just having fun, just having fun. And uh, uh, I just told Will, you know, we'll we'll handle it up front. We'll handle the huddle. We'll get it. We'll get everything going, and you just worry about your job. And that goes. You know, credit is to the uh, the entire offensive line is, you know, Josh, Ben, Duff, KT, and, and Carver is, uh, you know, we all we all kind of took a little bit extra responsibility for, for handling a little bit more of the load for Will and uh, and Will made plays, man, and, and that's the name of the game. How massive of a challenge is it to play left tackle, which is kind of a premium position uh, as a true freshman? I'll say – Thing about thing about offensive lines, if you play really hard, you're gonna make up for you make up for whatever deficiencies you have as as whether it's size, whether it's experience, whether it's you know, being a young guy who doesn't have the best technique yet. And that's one thing that uh that, you know, I'll say about Carver is that dude plays hard, hard, hard. He plays with an edge and he plays with a lot with a lot of finish. And uh, you know, that that paid dividends for him on Saturday and he competed and he came in when we needed him to and um, spilled KT for a little bit when KT needed a bit of a breather. And then uh, when KT got back in there, he did a great job too. So, Adam. Hey, 
Noah, coming into this season, K-State, like usual in football, was underappreciated and people didn't expect much like they should have from this team. But now you're 2-0. You're at the top of the Big 12, tied with other two teams. Um, at Bishop Carroll High School, you were kind of used to this of being a target on your back, of teams giving your best effort. As a team leader, if this team keeps winning, it's going to be a big target in the Big 12, and teams are going to start bringing in your best effort. Just how do you think the mindset in this group of guys is going to change if you keep winning and then stay at the top of the Big 12? Well, I don't, I don't think it's going to – I think we got a team that's not going to change at all. Um, polls don't matter. You know, we may be, we may be 2-0 and in the Big 12, but two weeks ago we were sitting at 0-1. And um, – you know, we're not that far away from that. And so you you can't get the mentality that, oh, we're winning, we can, we can let up. No, you got to take every day at a time, every play at a time, every rep at a time. And you don't take anything for granted because in college football, yeah, uh, you're going you're gonna to get up for the big games against the big opponents, but you're going to bring it. Every team brings it every week. And that's what we're expecting. And People may have a target on our back, but we got a target on everyone's back that we play because that's the next opponent that we're playing. And uh, that's always the most important thing is, is who are you playing this week? What are you doing today? What are you, uh, what are you getting better at? And uh, that's our focus, one play at a time and, and one game at a time, and everything else will take care of itself. I don't think anyone on our team pays attention to any of that or, uh, or cares about any of that. Last two here, starting with Jackson. No, Riley had talked about how even when Skyler was out, there wasn't much of a change in the chemistry that will receivers. Do you feel the same way as it relates to the offensive line? Yeah, I do. I think, uh, I mean, throughout the season, uh, or at least the preseason, Will got mixed in a decent amount, and, and we all kind of played with, with everyone during during fall camp and even a little bit into the season and during that bye week, um, so we had a little bit of continuity with Will. There's some, there's a little bit of a difference difference uh, in his rhythm of the cadence that we got to adjust to. But he he did a great job. There was there was not a single time where I would I would say there was a an issue at all. Um, and like I said, credit to to all the guys on the offensive line for adjusting to it. And just being ready to go, and and everyone being on the same page, and everyone doing their job, and and uh, taking care of the young kid, and he took care of us, and made some plays, and checked some protections, and and uh, he did his job, and that at the end of the day is everybody do your job and do it together, and and that's what we're gonna keep doing. There's been a lot of talk about some of the freshmen all around the team, but how do you feel specifically about the performance of the younger guys on the offensive line so far? Uh. I I am uh, very impressed with with uh, like I said with Carver um, with everyone along our offensive line uh, we we uh, obviously are inexperienced or whatever but uh, Josh Rivas has has been getting so much better and that's that's a lot to say because he was already a very good player um, but I think you know now that he is the, the complete starter and playing all the reps man is uh he can be a real dominant force and and he's been working super hard and uh i think ben adler's been doing a great job he's a very underrated player uh he's been very physical um christian duffy's had to bounce around at positions and he's 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 adapted and he's he's playing great football right now he's playing with great technique um cooper bb has been another he's a he's a redshirt freshman he's been been a you know, I thought he was going to have a big year this season, and and he has been exceeding those expectations for me. He's been he's been balling out, and uh, KT really stepped up to the challenge this week, and uh, just got so much better throughout the game. And and when he got under fire, he he responded, and that's another guy who can be be a, a great player. And if he keeps working out, he's going to be, and he's he uh, he's improving, and and super awesome to see that. Thanks, no, appreciate it. No problem. Last one here, Fitz. No, to say the least, you're 
your path to this college football season has been unconventional in terms of your career. How satisfying is it now that you're a senior, a team captain, and, and finally seeing college football action at this level? Man, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long road for sure. I, uh, I still think back to, to when I decided that I wanted to play football again, and I was, I was trying, to, trying to put on that weight and, and uh, trying to get my strength back, and I was thinking back to, uh, you know, what I was visualizing back then. And uh, to be here now, it's uh it's very rewarding and and you know a, a lot of hard work got put into it and and being in a great situation and having incredible coaches um coach riley gets gets so much out of me that i never thought you know i'd be able to get out you know he uh he's an incredible coach he pushes me super hard and i appreciate him so much and and uh Coach Kleiman is just, he's the man, you know, he's, he's, he's the absolute man. And, and coach Bratt was the guy who gave me a shot off of a, off of a text message in, in November when I didn't talk to him in probably six or seven months. And I just sent him my own film and asked if I could walk on. He gave me a shot. And, you know, once you get an opportunity, it's just about how much, how much work are you willing to put into it? And, uh, you know, it's a nice feeling to be out there again, and, and it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. I miss it a lot. You are in a unique situation here as a senior during this pandemic because you could come back next year. Have you thought about that, maybe getting some more college football time? Yeah, I, it's, I'd lie if I'd say it's a, it's a thought that hasn't crossed my mind, but um, I'm, I'm 100% just focused on this season and competing every day and, and – uh, and getting better every day and, and trying to put something together here. Um, when, when I got to make that decision, I'll make that decision, but, uh, I couldn't be more happier at K state or in this program or in this team and, uh, and with my teammates. And, um, yeah, when I, when I got to make that decision, I'll make that decision. And did I just see a heart cut into your hair? Yeah, that's actually, uh, <laughs> I don't know which way to turn. I think it was, this a, was uh, the other way. Other way, yeah. Uh, Skylar Thompson cuts my hair, so uh, if any of you guys <laughs> are barber in Manhattan, just uh, just hit him up. So that was his little touch. Yeah. Nice. He's a man. Thank you. No problem.